Magandang araw po sa lahat ng ating mga subscribers and friends from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao at sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Ako nga po pala si Earl Anthony Dorano. Isa po akong Associate Financial Planner ng Registered Financial Planner of the Philippines. Isa din po akong Licensed Insurance Underwriter, a Death Care Specialist, and I was also a Supervisor for a BPO and Team Leader for a software company here in Cebu. And I used to be part of J.P. Morgan Chase as a banker and credit card specialist for five years. And now, I'm a financial educator dito po sa IMG or otherwise known as International Marketing Group. In a nutshell, ang IMG, ang IMG po, it will make your life a lot easier and more convenient. If you're looking for healthcare products, life insurance, mga mutual funds, real estate, non-life, for general insurances and other services available po yan sa IMG. If you think about it, bakit ka pa maghahanap ng ahente or financial broker when in fact, you can be your own financial broker? In other words, IMG is a one-stop shop for all your financial needs. And once you become a member, you get to enjoy benefits on financial education, free gifts, my access, discounts, services, member support, rewards, even worldwide protection. That's a total of 48 benefits once you become a member. And all you need to pay is a membership fee of 6,000 pesos and you will get to enjoy benefits that's worth more than 100,000 pesos. If you're interested or if you want to know more, you just have to click this link it's also provided on the description below this video. Now, more than the convenience, more than the benefits, what I really like about being an IMG member is the learnings. I get to learn some financial concepts out of the workshops and seminars that I attended. And one of the things that I learned is the importance of building a solid financial foundation. Now, if you're going to check the slide, you will notice that the bottom most part is healthcare. Just like when you're building a house, you have to start from the ground up. That's why it's at the bottom most part since that's the most important. Once you're done, then that's the time you can start building your life insurance, bayaran mo yung utang mo, emergency fund, and then lastly, investments. Siguro nagtatanong yung iba, bakit kailangan healthcare muna? Well, let's talk about the healthcare condition here in the Philippines. We'll talk number one. Healthcare cost is getting more expensive. In fact, in an article published on uh, June 2019 by Manila Bulletin, it is believed that the medical inflation rate dito sa Pilipinas is projected to rise 13.7%, making it the second highest in Asia. And it's very scary and alarming because this happened before the pandemic. So you can just imagine how things must have changed, especially nung last year. And what's very sad is every time I share this with my friends and loved ones, I always get the response, hindi namin kailangan yan kasi may field health, kasi may universal health care. Well, we'll talk number two. Field health or universal health care will not cover everything. Those who have firsthand experience when it comes to paying the bills would know what I'm talking about. Field health will only cover a portion of the bill. The rest of it will be shouldered by either the patient or the insurance company or sometimes both. And as we all know, may kinakaharap pong issue yung field health. And that's why I'm not surprised why around 600 private hospitals threatened that they will no longer renew their field health accreditation in 2020 due to unpaid claims. E paano pag walang field health? Paano pag walang insurance? That means the patient will shoulder all the medical expenses. That brings me to real talk number three. You lose your savings when you get hospitalized. At sometimes, nadadamay din yung savings na dapat para sa tuition ng anak or savings na dapat para sa retirement ng magulang natin. At kung naubos na lahat, dyan na po papasok yung hashtag KMJS, hashtag Rafi Tulfo in Action. Sana may savings. E paano pag wala? Kaya nga karamihan sa atin, real talk number four, we choose to be an employee for a company that offers free health care for their employees and dependents. Kahit puyat, kahit pagod, kahit stress sa work, we don't have a choice because that's the only option we know 
that can cover our healthcare expenses and for our dependents as well. For it doesn't matter whether you're employed, unemployed, doesn't matter whether you're married or single. Field talk number five, as you get older, you're likely to get sick. There will come a point in our lives when uh, it's no longer within your control. Darating yung point na magkakasakit tayo habang tumatanda tayo, di ba? And lastly, real talk number six. I don't even know if I need to talk about this, but the COVID-19 virus has become a global health crisis. And hopefully, nung last year, nung nagka-pandemic, nung nag-lockdown, hopefully we realized the importance of having health care. Buti na lang dito sa Pilipinas, maraming mga healthcare companies at isa na po dyan, si Kaiser International Health Group. Now, personally, tinatong, tinatanong ako ng mga friends ko, ng mga uh, kasama ko sa work, bakit ba Kaiser yung napili mo in the first place? Bago ko po sagutin yan, if you're still new to this channel, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it with your friends, and if you have suggestions or questions or concerns just uh, leave the comments below okay so ang tanong is bakit si Kaiser yung pinili ko well i have eight reasons first of all registered po siya sa Securities and Exchange Commission registered din po siya as a healthcare company dito po sa Insurance Commission Member din po siya sa Philippine Association of Health Maintenance Organization Companies or PAMOC which was Lauded and praised by President Duterte, VP Lenny, our insurance commissioner, even the previous Secretary of Health. That's why it has been giving, uh, it has been uh, receiving really good feedback and testimonies coming from our providers since it also has a lifetime network access that's over 500 accredited hospitals and over 1,000 accredited specialists all across the country. You will also see good feedback and reviews coming from our doctors, the hospitals or our providers on the Kaiser website. Uh, it's also trusted by our lawmakers, yung mga House of Representatives or Congress and even some government agencies. In fact, yung Kaiser po, it has been the healthcare provider for our Congress for several years now. Baka sinasabi ng iba na baka government employees lang yung uh, pwedeng mag-avail ng Kaiser. Actually, hindi po. Even her megastar, Sharon Conetta, she's a Kaiser policyholder and she happens to be our Kaiser ambassador as well. So with all this in mind, I decided to have uh, my own Kaiser policy and I have decided to introduce it and share it my, with my friends because I have that confidence and you know peace of mind. Kumbaga. Yung Kaiser International po, it has a wide array of products and services. Kasama na po dyan yung short-term care, senior care for our senior citizens. At lastly, andyan din po yung tinatawag nating long-term care. Ano ba tong long-term care? Ang long-term care po is matagal na pong nai-enjoy ng mga set citizens dun sa US, sa Canada, Germany, at even sa UK. Pero tinatanong ng iba, bakit dun lang in-offer? Actually, hindi lang po dito sa mga bansang to ino-offer yung long-term care. Kasi the good news is, meron na pong long-term care dito sa Philippines. At ito po yung tinatawag nating Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder. It's called 720 plan because 7 years mo lang siyang babayaran and it will mature on the 20th year. This Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder is divided into 3 periods. Gaya nga ng sinabi ko, seven years mo lang siyang babayaran. So ito po yung tinatawag nating paying period or accumulation period. Once it's fully paid, dyan po papasok yung tinatawag nating extended period wherein madadagdagan yung benefits and on top of that, the investment side will also come into the picture. And once it's fully paid, once it matures on the 20th year, that's also the time when the long-term care period comes into the picture. So, iisa-isay natin yan mamaya. Let's first talk about the accumulation period or paying period. May benefits bang ma -e enjoy yung Kaiser policy holder kahit hindi pa fully paid yung plan? Yes, it's a big yes. In fact, during the accumulation period, uh, kasama sa mga benefits yung annual physical exam, 
yung dental benefits, at marami pa pong iba. The good thing is, if the policy is not used for confinement within the first seven years, it's very good kasi you get rewarded for it. Kasi 85% of the contract price, it will be returned to the policy owner on the maturity date. So let's try to uh, check how this works. Today, uh, I'm planning to go to SM Cebu so that I can have my annual fiscal exam for this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, walk you through on how to do it using the Kaiser's website. So ito yung Kaiser website. Once your policy is approved, you will be given a username and password. So you just have to click uh, log in once you're done. Once you're uh, logged in, that's the time it will route you to the home page. And then one of the options under quick links, it says schedule annual fiscal examination. So you just have to click that and then you'll be routed to this page and you just have to click schedule your APE or annual fiscal examination. Dito po, you will be routed to a link. It's actually a vir virtual map and it will locate for the nearest hospitals, clinics, or dentists from where you are. And since I have uh, one clinic in mind, uh, gusto ko yung physical, annual physical exam ko is uh, SM City Cebu. So ilalagay ko lang SM City Cebu dito sa search box and there you go. You'll be given the option to click APE. And once you click that, you will receive a confirmation that it has been put in place. And then you'll also get an email saying it's confirmed. All you need to do is bring your uh, Kaiser health card or any valid ID once you go to uh, your preferred clinic. It's as easy as that. And it's the same step if let's say you want to uh, look for a dentist, you just have to go to the same website. So ganun po kadali once you want to take advantage or to use your annual physical exam. So napag-usapan na natin yung accumulation period. Napag-usapan na natin kung paano mag-set ng appointment for your annual physical exam. Pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon, anong mangyayari kung fully paid na yung plan. So once it's fully paid, ito po yung tinatawag na extended period. Yung iba sinasabi ito yung waiting period kasi aantay na lang nila na mag-mature yung plan kasi wala ka namang ibang babayaran. The good thing is during this period, lahat ng benefits that I mentioned, kasali din po dyan, it will, uh, it will remain as is. It will just, uh, marami lang, um, may idadagdag lang ng mga benefits kasi during this period, kasama na din sa benefits yung outpatient benefits. Covered na din po yung pre-existing condition yung maternity benefits, even critical illness or dreaded diseases, pasok na po sa mga. And like I mentioned, dito din po papasok yung investment side. So for illustration purposes, sabihin natin si plan holder is 22 years old, kumuha siya ng K100, at yung annual, uh, yung mode of payment niya is annual. Now, during this period, papasok yung tinatawag nating 10% yearly health benefit. Since si plan holder ay kumuha ng K100, so 10% ng 100 is 10,000, di ba? So every year, papasok yung 10% yearly health benefit. If hindi nagamit yung policy, makakakuha din ng tinatawag nating 10% accumulated unused yearly health benefit si plan holder. At Kung hindi nagamit yung plan during this period, the policyholder will get an estimated amount of 269,750 pesos. That's what we call the total accumulated unused health benefit. During this period, the investment side will also kick in kasi the dividend, uh, which is dependent on the market, it, ha it will have uh, an ROI or return on invest investment that ranges from 3 to 13%. So if mark the market performs really well, then the policyholder will also get an additional health benefit worth 446,419 pesos. On top of that, makakatanggap din na guaranteed 100,000. 
ito po yung guaranteed amount after maturity whether the plan is used or not. And di ba sinabi ko kanina na if the policy is not used for confinement within seven years, mas better kasi 85% of the premium will be returned to the policy owner on the maturity date. So if you think about it, if you will add it up, you will get as much as 1,166,169 pesos. Ito po yung matatanggap na total maturity value ng policyholder. And the good thing is, this maturity value, once I mean on the maturity date, this will be placed in what we call the Kaiser Visa card. And you will have the option to either withdraw the entire value. You also have the option to withdraw only a portion of it. Maybe you want to start uh, a business, then you can withdraw part of it and then the rest of it. You can keep it here para magamit mo um, in the future. Or you also have the choice to just leave everything behind. Just retain the maturity value with Kaiser because the investment side will continue even after maturity. And that's the good thing about it. And uh, during the long-term care, care period, the investment part will still kick in. And the good thing is, magagamit mo siya even after you're 50 years old, 60 or 65 years old. That's the reason why it's called long-term care. Kasi hindi lang po siya short-term, pang matagalan po yung, yung benefits na, uh, that the policyholder will enjoy. So for example, sabihin natin for illustration purposes, si policyholder is 22 years old, kumuha ng K100. Uh, tapos, let's just say, namatay si policyholder on the second year, meaning hindi nabayaran in full yung plan. Well, that won't be a problem kasi if this happens, yung balance, it's waived, meaning hindi na po babayaran ng family yung natirang balance. It will be waived automatically. And then on top of that, may matatanggap din pong long-term care benefit na 100000 at long-term care bonus na 350,000. So that's a total of 450,000 yung matatanggap ng beneficiary. And what if yung reason ng death is accident? Well, if that's the case, if the reason is because of accident, then additional 450,000 is given to the beneficiary. Kaya yung matatanggap is 900,000. But the good thing is, di, di lang po yan yung matatanggap ng beneficiary kasi yung plan mismo, it will be transferred to the principal beneficiary, which includes the health and investment as well. So for me personally, I really like this product. Uh, aside from I see the importance of it, uh, I can also sense that this will be useful for me in the future. Okay, if you want to avail this product, I suggest you do it as early as now. Because if you think about it, let yung nangyayari kasi, ito tayo dati. Nung bata pa tayo, uh, ideally may, uh, let's just say, may kapatid, tapos may magulang. It, there will come a point yung magulang natin tatanda tapos magkakasakit. Sino ba usually yung gumagastos? Di ba mga anak? That's what uh, usually happens. And in case our parents die, sino yung gagastos? Usually anak pa rin, di ba? So darating yung point na mawawala, mawawala na yung mga magulang natin, yung matitira tayo. And hopefully at this point, meron na tayong partner or meron na tayong anak. Anong mangyayari pag tanda natin? Pag magkakasakit tayo, gusto nyo ba anak nyo yung mag-shoulder ng medical expenses nyo? Paano pag na-hospital? Sino mababayad ng hospital bill? Huwag mong sabihin na yung anak mo yung magbabayad ng hospital bill. Paano pag wala kang anak? Paano pag wala kang partner? Wala kang asawa? Paano pag single ka? Sino magbabayad ng hospital bill? What I'm really to what, what I'm really trying to point here is we need to break the cycle. And just like the saying, you can never go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. So if you want to become an IMG member, just click this link. If you want to get more information about Kaiser or get a proposal, just click this link, which I will provide in the description as well. 
Now, if you're planning to join, own, and share, which means join IMG, own Kaiser, and share our advocacy much better. Kasi pwede mong ma-enjoy yung isa sa mga benefits na tinatawag nating business ownership program. And depende po sa performance, sa hard work nyo, you can earn as much as 2,000, I mean, 2 million 304,600 pesos monthly. Depende po yan sa performance nyo and sa team. If you're interested, just send me uh, an email or you can leave your comment below so that I can reach out to you. Now, tinatanong ako nung mga kasama ko, bakit, uh, bakit uh, ginagawa ko to uh, as a business? Well, the good thing is, hopefully na-realize natin na if you're really trying to build a solid financial foundation, it's so hard to build that if you don't have cash flow. So this is the reason why I'm doing the business side of it because I also want to increase cash flow so that I can better build that solid financial foundation. And the good thing about this business is wala po kaming quota. Hindi po kami captured agent, meaning we're not just limited to one single you know, product. Wala pong prom uh, promotion ceiling. Kahit uh, ilang CEO, kahit ilang marketing director pa yan, it doesn't matter. And the good thing is, meron po kaming tinatawag na vesting rights. Ibig sabihin, yung commission na natatanggap ko ngayon, as I'm doing this, if in case something happens to me, knock on wood, let's say I die, pwede ko siyang ipamana sa beneficiary. And that's something really, really good. So if you really want to build a solid financial foundation, I suggest you join IMG and own a Kaiser policy so that you can help us share our advocacy. Again, if you want to be a member, click this link. Or if you want to get the Kaiser proposal, click this link. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it with your friends, and comment below. Again, ako po si Earl Anthony Dorano na nagsasabing have a good day and see you on my next vlog presentation. Bye-bye!